Think about somebody in your life right now. Somebody that's living the life that you would like to live. Maybe they're always getting the guys. They're always getting the girls. They got a nicer car than you. They got a nicer house than you. If you were able to hire them to teach you how to live that life, would you? Probably. I fucking would. I've done that before. Because I wanted the life that my mentors were fucking living. They were walking the walk and I was inspired by it. The average man inspires no one. A lot of you need to write that quote down. And I know it says man, but this goes for all of you ladies and all of you guys who are listening to this fucking video right now, listening to this audio right now. You need to pay attention to what I'm about to say. A lot of you guys don't get respect from your parents. Don't get respect from your kids. Don't get respect from your audience online. Don't get respect from anybody around you because you don't fucking deserve it. Listen, the average man or woman inspires no one. And a lot of you guys are average as fuck. You just skate through life trying to get by. And then you wonder why nobody ever listens to you. You wonder why your advice falls on deaf ears. You wonder why nobody's inspired by your quote unquote work ethic because you don't fucking have any. Just because you bust your ass and you work hard for 10 seconds doesn't mean you have work ethic and you need to wake the fuck up and realize that. All right, you guys, I help personal trainers and fitness coaches grow and scale their online businesses. We have 1,400 clients right now. Over 250 have broken $10,000 a month. We've had multiple make 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to $200,000 a month organically. Believe it or not, I honestly don't give a fuck. If you believe it or not, those are the facts, all right? Proven numbers. And it's because the students who see results walk the fucking walk. You guys need to understand this shit, all right? Nobody's going to be inspired by an average motherfucker. So if you want to inspire change, if you want to build a business, if you want to lead from the front, you need to start walking the fucking walk. I can't even tell you how many fucking times in the last... 30, 60, 90 days, I've seen personal trainers, fitness coaches, online entrepreneurs bitch that nobody's reaching out to them even though they fucking shouldn't be in the first place. Why the fuck should anybody DM your fat fucking ass for fitness coaching? You don't walk the walk. You're not inspiring anything. You don't even take your own fucking advice. You know how many fucking fat personal trainers are out there? that don't even do shit. Like I've met a couple overweight personal trainers, but they're busting their asses. They've lost anywhere from 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 fucking pounds themselves. And they want to help other individuals. Those people are walking the walk. They have a pass here. If you're a fucking fat fitness coach and you're wondering why you're not getting hired, I want you to go look in the fucking mirror and ask yourself, would anybody want that body? Yes or no? If the answer is no, then wake the fuck up. You need to be walking the fucking walk because right now you an average motherfucker and you ain't inspiring anybody to change. And this doesn't just need to be fitness related. This could also be business related. If you're broke as shit trying to teach other people how to make money, the reason why nobody's fucking hiring you is because they can see through your broke ass. They see through the bullshit. They want a nice house. You ain't got one. They want nice clothes. You ain't got them. They want a nice car. You ain't got it. Now, I'm not saying you need those things in order to inspire individuals to hire you to teach them, but it fucking helps, all right? If you look up to an individual because they have the body and the car and the house and the clothes, you're most likely going to hire them if you get the chance to, especially if you want that life. Think about somebody in your life right now, all right? I want you to close your eyes and think about this shit. Somebody that's living the life that you would like to live. Maybe they're always getting the guys. They're always getting the girls. They got a nicer car than you. They got a nicer house than you. All right. They always get the nicer clothes than you. If you were able to hire them to teach you how to live that life, would you? Probably. I fucking would. I've done that before. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on that shit because I wanted the life that my mentors were fucking living. They were walking the walk and I was inspired by it. You're not going to hire a fat fucking fitness coach and you're not going to hire a broke fucking business coach. Stop taking advice from individuals that are not where you want to fucking be. 
And if you are a coach, if you're a person out there right now that is trying to coach other people, that is trying to inspire change, you need to look in the mirror first and ask yourself, what about me is inspiring? You guys, I'm going to be a father soon. And it's honestly one of the reasons why I grind so fucking hard because I want to be my son's hero. When he looks at me, I want him to be like, I want a body like my dad. So I refuse to let myself go and become some fat fuck because I want to be my kid's hero. I don't want him looking at all these other men online that are better than me wishing that he was them. The reason why I grind so hard on my fucking business is because I want my kid to be able to look at our lives and be like, I want a business like dad. I'm not going to give up my fucking dreams and live a mediocre bullshit fucking life and then tell my kid, you can achieve anything you want, son. You can see all the success you want in life. Even though I didn't, I gave up. Guys, this shit's a fucking joke. Go look in the fucking mirror. That is your biggest motivator. That is the biggest truth teller you have. The mirror will tell you everything you need to know about yourself. The average man inspires fucking no one. There's a lot of people out here that are destined to be better than they are right now. But you guys are too comfortable being fucking average. You're comfortable with the gut overhanging your fucking belt because nobody's told you the fucking truth before. You're comfortable stressing for the fucking bill because nobody's ever told you that's unacceptable before. If you want to become that hero you've always had in your fucking head, you got to start walking the fucking walk. Be about the shit you talk about. Whether you train other people, whether you're a coach, whether you want to hire a coach, whether you have children that you want to inspire, whether you're a fucking teacher and you want people to listen to you, if you want respect in this world, you need to be able to deserve respect. And you only deserve respect by showing up with fucking integrity and walking the fucking walk. Wake up. The average man inspires no one. So stop being fucking average. Let's go.